Right, so then, 2020 is right around the corner. I cannot wait. It's going to deliver us some of the greatest moments in anime, guaranteed. We all know this. But for today, we're going to look back. We're going to look back on the previous decade, straight from 2010 up until this year of 2019, and see what you guys, the fans, voted as the greatest anime of each year of this decade. A few disclaimers, however, before we jump into this. This is only going to cover the release date of the anime, not any manga release dates. This is also based off the My Anime List ratings for these anime as of December the 14th. And then lastly, no movies, because I think it's a little bit unfair considering the difference in production value that a movie gets as opposed to a, an ongoing TV series. So then, starting off the decade, we've got the one, the only, <clears throat> Yo, 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 Johan Shinra Ta Taiki? I'll be honest, I've never heard of this series. And some of the series in this video, yeah, I've not seen them. But this one, I've legitimately never heard of. But it's got such a high rating on my anime list. So you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments section down below, actually. What your favourite anime of the entire decade is. And then also, how many of these in this list have you actually seen? And would you recommend them to me? But yeah, like I said, I've never heard the series. And I had to search quite deep, to be honest, to find something quite high rated for 2010. But this is the highest rated anime from 2010 as voted by the fans. But from what I can tell, your Johan Shin... The Tatami Galaxy. We're just going to roll with the Tatami Galaxy from here on out. Because that is just on a whole nother galaxy easier to say but from what i can tell looking at the uh, the the synopsis of the series it's about a college student who sort of regrets his time in college and is miraculously sent back to the day he began college so that he can run it all out completely differently how he'd want to anyway you know experiencing love friendship college life altogether and to be honest it does sound really really interesting and i might have to add it to my ever growing to watch list but I mean, the, the art style might be a bit off-putting to some, but I'm willing to give it a try, to be honest. Pause. I'm going to read this disclaimer once more, okay? These aren't my opinions. These are going from my anime list, okay? I didn't pick these, okay? Just before anyone crucifies me in the comment section. This is not my list. And the reason I'm saying this is because 2011... It's not Hunter Hunter, okay? I would have put Hunter Hunter in there. It's my favourite anime of all time. But, surprisingly enough, Hunter Hunter was actually beaten out by Steins Gate. I'll be honest, it did surprise me. But, Steins Gate actually has a 9.11 score on my anime list. I believe that's the second highest out of every anime, second to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And to be honest, it is a wonderful adaptation of the, the popular light novel. And to be honest, it's probably a must watch for any sci-fi fan. 2012 gave us potentially the king of gag anime. Now, I've not watched much of Gintama. I'll hold my hands up, okay? But from what I have seen, I enjoyed it. It was very, very funny. And it also has some brilliant action as well. Jam-packed with hilarious references to some of its industry's biggest competitors and emotional fight scenes is what makes Gintama so special. And despite being shorter than your average season of Gintama, that doesn't stop Gintama and Shusen being a fan favourite. I think I've butchered that. Monogatari second season. Now, Monogatari is an anime that splits the fan base straight down the middle. On one half, you have the hardcore, dedicated fan base that really love the niche genre that this series finds itself in. And then on the other hand, you've got the other people who just sort of despise it and can't stand the, the typical harem anime who just uses philosophy as a way to cover up its sexual fan service. Your Lion April, capable of bringing a grown man to tears. A series revolving around the endless beauty of both music and love. The story follows Kuse who goes into a downward spiral after the death of his mother, leaving him unable to hear the sound of his own piano which he was once so passionate and talented about. Until one day Kaiori, a beautiful violinist, relights his passion in music. 
Now I'm going to pause right here while we're at it. If you're enjoying the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. It really does help out the channel a ton. Anyway, back to it. Okay, now we won't go too much into this one, but I think the fact that Gintama has made its way onto this list twice is a testament to just how brilliant this series actually is. Haikyuu. As far as sports anime go, Haikyuu is up there with the very best. And clearly season 3, which I've not managed to get to yet, was clearly something special as it managed to become the most high rated anime of 2016, beating out some absolutely incredible fierce competition including My Hero Academia, Mob Psycho 100, Assassination Classroom, Part 4 of JoJo's. They are some giants, some of the most loved anime of all time and Haikyuu beat them. Now although season 1 may not have been enough to beat Haikyuu the year prior, season 2 of March Comes In Like a Lion definitely was. Now I'm going to hold my hands up here, I've never seen March Comes In Like a Lion, but it's one of those ones which is on the never ending to watch list. I can't wait, it looks brilliant. And from what I can tell, it revolves around the story of a professional shogi player, a very talented professional shogi player, pushing through the struggles of both being a shogi player and his personal life as he tries to find a way to understand why he plays a game that has defined his career. Gintama, the Silver Soul Arc 2, the final part of the final arc of Gintama. I, I swear I've heard Gintama's ending like a million times now. Now I've never made it this far in, in Gintama if I'm 100% honest and it's the third time on the list, this list okay. I think that just shows the footprint that this series has left on the anime industry as a whole. It's absolutely unbelievable. Could it even be the anime of the decade? I don't know you're gonna have to let me know in the comment section about that one. And then finally, 2019 ended off a decade like nobody could have anticipated. From your The Promised Neverlands, to your Vinland Sagas, to your Demon Slayers, there was only ever going to be one winner. Part 2 of Attack on Titan was truly something special. Everything from direction, to the art, to the animation, to the music, to the emotion, this season of Attack on Titan carried a little bit of everything with it. Well, just like that, we've travelled for an entire decade of anime. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below what your favourite anime of the decade is. And if you want to hear mine, well, it's between Hunter x Hunter or Attack on Titan. And I know I said Hunter x Hunter was my favourite of all time, but what Attack on Titan has achieved, it can't be ignored. And I'd probably say that just edges it and becomes my, the best anime of the decade, in my opinion. From the sheer impact Attack on Titan had to becoming probably the first mainstream anime, most people's first ever anime. I mean, even back in 2014, it got its own Fine Bros Teens React episode. Do you realise how big that was back then? Yeah, it's got to be Attack on Titan for me. I, I can't think of anything else. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much. On to the next decade. Peace.